everybody and welcome back to Multiplicity Crafts. I want to welcome my new subscribers and today we're going to be reviewing the Xyron adhesive eraser and seeing if it works. Now I'm going to be trying it on various types of glue that I have on hand and see if it will remove the adhesive and the stickiness and the shine from the glue. So to begin, uh, this is what the Xyron eraser looks like. It's a two inch by two inch square and we will go ahead and start testing it. The very first thing I'm going to test it on is the glue dots and most crafters will use these Zots glue dots and so I wanted to see if it would work on this particular adhesive. So this is the glue dot here and I'm going to go ahead and try to erase it. Um, this one I found that if you kind of do more of a pushing motion rather than just a back and forth erasing motion it tends to work a little better and so it takes a little bit of work but if you just kind of do if you just kind of add firm pressure and just push it will eventually lift the glue dot right off the paper and it doesn't leave any uh, residue or any damage at all to your paper it just comes off really clean so that one I would say definitely it does work on the glue dot. Now let's try the Elmer's Craft Bond uh, maximum, strength, maximum Strength Glue Stick. Now this glue stick is a little bit stronger than just the regular ones because it is the extra strength. But as you can see there it kind of adds a little shine to your paper. And when I try to erase it it takes a little bit of the tackiness away, but it still leaves the shine on the paper. So for this one, I'm going to say it doesn't really work too well. So I'm going to say that's a no for the glue stick. Now let's move on to score tape. This is basically the double-sided tape that a lot of us use. And this is actually a really pretty strong tape. I've used this before on many albums, and it holds really, really well. So... I was kind of surprised at the results with this because as you can see I'm starting to erase again just using kind of more of a pushing motion it does just roll up pretty easily and come off the paper it doesn't damage the paper or leave any residue whatsoever so for the score tape it's a winner now let's move on to just the regular Elmer's school glue and a lot of us use this and then a lot of us also use like a Tombow Mono Multi Glue and different ones but just for the basic white school glue I thought the Elmer's would be a good test. I tried it, uh, I didn't really find that it worked too good. It took some of the stickiness away but it didn't really take the appearance of the glue off of the paper. So I don't really think it works as well on that. But now let's try the Zig Two Way Glue Pen. Now this one I was really hoping it worked on because that's what I need it most for. I usually use this glue pen behind my thin little die cut letters. And so as you can see it does work. It's taking the adhesive off of the paper. You do kind of have to work at it a little bit. And it leaves somewhat of a matte finish behind. But that pretty much to me is okay because I'm trying to get rid of the shine from the glue anyway. So... This one, I would say it did work, um, and I was pleasantly surprised because this is a pretty good glue pen, in my opinion, uh, to hold things on. So, yes, it did work. It left the paper, like I say, just a little bit mattified, but to me, that wasn't too big of a problem because I usually just use it on small areas. And then on to the infamous glue runner. Now, I use this quite a bit on my craft projects. But bear in mind this is a permanent glue runner and not a temporary or repositionable one. So I'm kind of, you know, a little bit biased, I guess, to the permanent ones because I don't really use the repositionable ones. And so that's why it's all I had on hand. Um, but to try it on the permanent one, it didn't really work. It did roll a tiny bit of the edge of it off, but mm, I don't think it works. Now let's try it on super glue. And most of us that craft will not use super glue on our paper projects, but I did just want to try the strongest glue I had to see if it worked. I kind of 
knew ahead of time it probably wouldn't since it didn't really work on the glue runner. But as you can see here, um, I'm going over it several pass. I'm going over it several passes, and it does sort of kind of roll off the top layer of glue, but it's still very sticky. So no, it doesn't really work on super glue. Now on to stickles. This was the glitter glue that a lot of us use. Um, I find that it works pretty well if you have just a thin strip of the glitter glue or just a tiny dot of it. But if you have a big um, portion of your paper covered with the glue, kind of like I have here, it doesn't work as well. It still works, but if you have this much glitter, the glitter almost acts like sandpaper and it, it actually rolls your paper off. Now, if you have a better quality paper, it probably won't do that. But does the Xyron work on glitter glue? It actually does. It just kind of depends on the amount of glue you have and, you know, if your paper is quality enough where you can't erase without it rolling up your paper. So, that is the results of the Xyron uh, adhesive eraser. It just kind of depends on what you're needing it for and for what uses. So, does it work? Yes, it does on some and no, not on others. So. This is my honest review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. So I hope this review was helpful for you. Again, uh, if you would like, I would love to have you subscribe. And I also have my blog linked below if you'd like to follow it as well. And I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.